hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'd be doing this pink and yellow crystal germ nails okay so this is the actual photo of the type of nails i want to do so let's get right into it all right so before i begin i um initially attempted these nails on my hands which is what i've got on my left hand but they didn't turn out exactly how i wanted them to do to be so that's what i'm repeating again only that i'll be doing it a lot different this time for the background of these nails i'm using this yellow lemony um, color powder and then i'm also going to use this opaque strong pink powder now the reason is because this is the background of these nails every other thing i put on this nail is going to be um you know like a um a see-through basically so i want the background to sort of already have the established color there all right so what i'm going to do is work in very little um, you know like beads i'm picking up beads that are really really tiny and then i'm also going to um you know fade everyone into each other so that we don't have um like a um, just a patch of color um right there all right so i'm also using this um glitter um this glitter clear pink that i made just so that it could have a little shimmer to it because the stone does have a little shimmer to it and on this other nail i'm doing the exact same thing only that i'm not using the i'm not doing it the same way all right so what i mean by that is i'm using i'm just alternating the colors as i work there's like no particular because i do not want these nails to look the exact same way i do not like i need them to look a little different from each other so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing on every other nail i'm just going to alternate the colors and then just blend them into each other so the yellow lemon color powder is actually glow in the dark i think that's what makes this entire set pretty cool the yellow helps to tone down any strong static pink color so that we can have that perfect shade of pink germ we're looking for okay so i'm doing this entire set in two layers and i'll show you guys what i mean as the video progresses We finished up on our first background what i'm doing now is creating veins or creases with gel paints so this is really easy all you have to do is swirl around some gel paints with the liner brush on each nail and then marble up those lines to even thinner crease lines with a gel brush and acetone after which i will cure in the lamp and that would conclude our first layer
Alrighty guys, we're back from the lamp and to seal in the first layer, I'm going to encapsulate in clear pink on each finger just so that we can, you know, like hide or um, tone down the lines just a bit, just a little bit. We do not want to, we do not want the lines to be, you know, so obvious, but then we want the lines to be there as well. So which is why I'm using the clear pink. Alrighty guys, so to begin our second layer, I'm going in with another, um, you know, another layer of gel paint. Only that I'm going in, in the um, opposite direction that I went on every nail and then I will marble that as well. Now the reason I'm doing it in the opposite direction is just so that when we are done for the big reveal, I do not want all of my lines to, or all of my creases, sorry, to be in the same direction. I kind of want them to wiggle around so that's just what I'm doing. When I'm done, I will have her cure her hands in the lamp again for our final um, encapsulation. Alrighty guys, we're back from the lamp and to encapsulate, I'm making use of the yellow, pink and the glitter pink. Well, I'm basically alternating these colors and I'm using it to just tone down any um, opaque or obvious color so that they sort of still blend into each other. To explain further, anywhere I've got the pink to be more obvious, I'm going to use the yellow to turn it down. And anywhere that I've got the yellow to be more obvious, I'm going to use the pink to tone it down. And you need to do this in the tiniest of beads. Because these colors are not, um, you know, like jelly or see-through, if, uh, if you apply too much or if you use a large bead, you will completely block out the um, creases that you are trying to um, show. Okay, so before I encapsulate these nails finally, I'm just going to put uh, some gold foils just to lock in the design and have these nails look like, um, you know, like a pendant basically. Okay, so I also decided to apply this um, glitter shimmers last minute because I knew something was missing and um, I needed a little shimmer to my um, my germ nails. So I grabbed these glitter shimmers and I'm just randomly applying them in the direction that the creases go not necessarily in the same direction but just randomly applying them and then i will encapsulate this nail or all of these nails and i will file i did file off camera because the video was getting too long and um i didn't want to bore you guys out just in case so i did file off camera Oh yeah, and I also did forget to mention that I'm encapsulating finally in clear powder. Do not encapsulate in clear pink. That's the mistake I made on my own nails. If you encapsulate in clear pink, you will completely block out the vein lines that are, are supposed to show. We're done encapsulating this entire set. I'm going to go file them and come back to you guys. Alrighty guys, we're back from filing. I had her go wash her hands so that um, we can get rid of any excess dust. And now I'm just going to apply top coat on these nails so that they can finally come alive.
we're done applying top coats i'm going to cure these nails in the lamp and then we'll be back for you know like the final reveal this is the final result you guys these nails turned out really pretty um let me know what you think in the comment section below stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in my next video bye